What does replay do in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.401.2. On this controller, I've set up two jobs that we're gonna be looking at. Let's take a look first at job one. If we go ahead and take a look at how it's configured, what we have is just a sample hello world pipeline. And in fact, if we go ahead and take a look at the output of job number one, we'll see that we have a hello world and we also see a link on the left nav that is called replay. Well, if we go into replay, what this allows us to do is we can replay this pipeline and make modifications to this pipeline. In this case, instead of saying hello world, let's say that I wanted to say hello world using replay. So when I click run, the job will run again. But if we take a look at the output, what we're going to see from the echo is a hello world using replay. But notice within our configuration for job one, we still just have hello world. So we made a change to the body of our job within the stages. And by using replay, we were able to test out, okay, what's going to happen if I make a change to this pipeline? It gives you a quicker way to iterate on changes. Let's go ahead and go over and take a look at job number two. Now the configuration for job number two, I have a couple of parameters. I have an F1 parameter and an F2 parameter. And then all I'm doing with these parameters is I am echoing them out. So if we go ahead and run job number two once, we have our build with parameters. I'm going to say one for field one and two for field two. When we click on build, what we're going to see from the output is that we see a line for one, and a line for two. But let's assume for a moment that I actually wanted to change how I'm using these parameters. Let's take a look at the left nav now. Now you'll notice that we have a parameters left nav item. We can see the values for the parameters, but we can't change them. So with replay, you can only change what is within the stages block. So I can't add a third parameter and test it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on replay Notice I see my parameters here, and as I just said, I shouldn't be making changes to parameters. The only thing I should be making changes to is what's happening inside of my stages block. So in this case, instead of saying a single stage, hello, I'm going to say hello one. I'm gonna copy this whole block. Let's go ahead and paste that down. I'm gonna say hello two. Let's get rid of F1 in two, and let's get rid of F2 in one. So we're just restructuring how I want my pipeline to look. And I can test this out by using replay. Now again, by clicking on run, it's going to take whatever is in this definition for the pipeline, and it's going to execute this pipeline, not what has been saved in the configuration. So if I go ahead and click on run and take a look at the output for build number three, what we're gonna see is two different stages. We have our hello one stage and our hello two stage with the one and two outputs. However, if I go back up to job two and click on build with parameters. Notice I can put in my parameters again. This time I'll say three and four. But in this case, when I take a look at the output of number four, we're back to just our hello single stage because taking a look at the job definition, the job definition has not changed. Our job definition is still just echoing everything out in a single stage. So if you need to be able to test out what would happen if I made a change to my pipeline, replay is one easy way to be able to do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on the subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.